Hey, my name is Barrett. I'm a food stylist here in New York City, and today we're working with savory to make gingerbread houses. But these gingerbread houses are made of graham crackers, so there is no baking involved, and we can go straight to the most fun part, which is decorating. So this is a gingerbread house that I actually made yesterday. I've let it sit overnight so that all of the icing can harden enough so that we can handle it and decorate it. This one will be fully edible, but now I'm going to show you a food stylist hack that I use all the time that's going to make this so much faster and easier so you can get straight to the fun part, which is decorating. And that is using hot glue. We're going to do the same method, but it's going to take minutes instead of hours. It's going to make it inedible, but who really eats a gingerbread house anyway? Come on. So first I'm going to make my base. I'm going to take two crackers. I'm going to put a line of hot glue down the edge. And I'm just holding it up until the glue sets a little bit, just so I don't glue it down to my parchment. I am doing it on parchment, so just in case anything does adhere, it'll be easy to remove. Now we're gonna put on our walls. And it's pretty quick and easy. Do the other side. I love using these graham crackers. It's so much easier than baking gingerbread cookies, then cutting them into the right shapes, and then they break. So now I'm gonna stick on the side walls. I'm gonna put a line of glue down these. And don't worry about the glue because we're actually just going to go back and we're going to cover it all with icing. So no one will ever know your trick. Again. All right. That, we're halfway there, guys. Now we're going to put a floor across here so that we'll have something to put our roof on. Like I said, don't worry too much if there's gaps. We're going to fill all that in with candy and candy canes and pretzels and icing. Now I'm gonna put my roof on. I'm just gonna take two full sheets of crackers and we're gonna pitch them just like that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on each side and a little bit of glue right here to glue the two together at the peak. All right, I'm gonna do it again for the back. All right, now I'm gonna put on our sidewalls on our roof. So I'm just gonna kinda of lay this here and look where I need to cut it. I'm just gonna make a little score. Now we're gonna cut that same angle that I just scored. Again, put very, very, very little pressure, if any. Just kinda of let the knife do the work. There we go. Again. I'm actually gonna use this as a template for my other side because I know it's gonna be the same thing. All right, I'm gonna glue these guys on now. On. All right, we have just made the shell of our gingerbread house and it is ready to decorate. So we're gonna cover all these seams with icing so you won't even know that it was put together with hot glue. Just don't eat it. So here's another hack to keep your decorating neat and organized. Use a muffin tin. There's a ton of little things that you might wanna use. You might wanna have a variety. It's great for the kids to just come in and grab. It's much better than having a million bags of things all over the place. This keeps it all nice and tight for you. And just have fun with it. So once you've finished decorating your house, this is a really fun and easy way to complete the scene. Just take a normal sugar cone and some green icing, and we are going to just pipe little dots onto it. So you are making a Christmas tree for your yard. Make sure you use a star tip for this, because it's gonna give you the best realistic looking foliage on your tree. And right before I set it down, I like to take some holiday nonpareils and decorate my tree. It looks like little Christmas balls on your tree. You can just drop them on. Make sure you do this when it's still wet because they won't stick if not. See how cute that is. Now we're just gonna set it down where we want it. Pick a good spot. There we go, there's our little tree. Throw a few more balls on it. Ta-da! It's so cute. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. For more fun recipes, check out Savory Online. 
and happy decorating.